we get to be self-reliant, actually. That's the biggest lesson, actually, for us. So we can't be dependent on uh, uh, supply of our weapon systems, etc., from outside. That's the one big lesson that uh, we take from uh, this particular conflict. I see this war from the point of view of military practitioner, actually. So we are looking at, you know, uh, what kind of lessons uh, from this particular war are applicable in the Indian context. Obviously, our situations are entirely different. So we look at that. While we even look at that, we also like to see, uh, we also understand that, you know, uh, there are no universally acceptable kind of lessons from this particular war. So, and in this particular war, you find a lot of, it's a different kind of a war. Earlier, we all assumed that future wars are going to be short, swift, and fast. And, but this is a very longish kind of a war, which we are seeing. Uh, and it has created many, many kind of contradictions, actually. Say earlier when we thought that, you know, uh, we thought about dispersion and demassification was one. And now, you know, over here, uh, what we are seeing right now with the stage in which the war has entered, we find concentrated kind of attacks. We found, you know, equipment which we thought was means of offensive operations, etc. That whole paradigm is uh, getting changed. Uh, so there are a number of uh, lessons, actually, which uh, we could uh, take from this particular war. But then as, uh, as far as we are concerned, we got to see that how these lessons actually are applicable for the Indian Armed Forces and what lessons we should take from this. If you ask me, uh, some of the lessons could be from this particular war would be uh, that uh, we get to be self-reliant, mm -hmm. actually. That's the biggest lesson, actually, for us. So we can't be dependent on uh, uh, supply of our weapon systems, etc., from outside. That's the one big lesson that uh, we take from uh, this particular conflict. Self-reliance or Atmir Bharta goal. Uh, that gives us a capacity actually to produce those what is required in large numbers. And for technology, of course, we still will depend on friends and allies like Jim Mattis was talking about. Uh, you think we're on track for self-reliance? Oh, yes, I means uh, we've just taken some baby steps actually for past two, three years. Large number of initiatives have been taken by the government. And I think if for these initiatives to succeed, the driving force would be the services themselves. So they've got to get their things right, and if they force the thing, then certainly we'll be able to uh, achieve whatever the government wants.